here, I get this guitar and this guitar. Now, these two guitars, you'll have to, you, you, it are completely seamless. This is the smoothest guitar neck. They're wet sanded necks. Uh, so they're not only a satin finish neck, okay, but they're wet sanded. Now, that said, when we get to this guitar, this is a bare on the back of this neck. It's just it's just a, basically a lightly finished uh, maple, right? So it's uh, typically a lot of people like the unfinished necks because they don't get sticky when you're especially playing a, you know like a gig and it's a hot you know it's hot in the room and everything like that you're sweating. It doesn't get as sticky with a natural finished neck, right? Like just with the light stain on it. That that's all they have on it, and they get smoother over time. So you'd think, well, that's the way to go, right? Because that's nitrocellulose lacquer. And most guitars are going to have either polyethylene or nitrocellulose lacquer. Most of the lower end guitars are going to have polyethylene. Uh, most guitars are probably going to have polyethylene. Uh, so that guitar, yeah, it can get a little sticky if you don't keep wiping it down. So I keep that, you know, lint-free cloth like I have behind the V there. And I'll wipe that down while I'm playing. So if my hands get really hot. And nitrocellulose lacquer... Basically, one thing that's great about it is that it's work hardening. So the more you, you, you polish it, the, the, the harder the, the surface gets, the slipperier it gets, right? But it will get a little bit sticky sometime. And if it's polyethylene, it'll, it'll definitely get sticky, right? So, okay, that, that kind of binds you up. Like, we're talking that much, right? So maybe the natural finish neck is the better way to go, right? Uh, where you don't get binded up. And it's, you know... Sort of smooth or sort of not, right? So it, 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 it's a toss up there. But then we got these uh, satin finished necks that are wet sanded, uh, which there's very few guitars that I've ever, uh, these are the only guitars I've ever played that have had the, the, the you know, wet sanded necks. Maybe they're using 3000 grit, I don't know. But basically between the binding, you can't feel the binding ridge at all these are the first guitars with binding that i've never been able to feel between the the uh the the neck and and the like it's completely seamless it's amazing and that i found made more of a difference for smoothness of playing than the actual profile who knew right so to me i don't think the profile is quite as important. It's important, but I think the smoothness of the neck actually makes more sense. It actually allows you to play a little bit smoother uh, because you don't bind up as much. Now, we're talking this much. You know, like if there's any one of these guitars here that you can't play well on, it's not the guitars. <laughs> Go take lessons. I'm not saying I'm a great player, but what I'm saying it is... Uh, if these can't get it out of you, you don't have it in you. That, 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 that's, that's, it's as simple as that. So the radius of the fingerboard, yeah, that's, that's a, another issue on itself. And I'm thinking I like the flatter, flatters better for me, for my style of playing. But when it comes to the profile, like for example, I've tried all kinds of crazy necks. Uh, the D-shaped necks, which are the weirdest. It's usually just a Strat or a Telecaster that'll have a D-shaped neck or a V-shaped neck, uh, which are weird because your thumb, it kind of wants to stay in the middle of the neck, which, you know, can help you with proper playing technique. But it always feels like somebody put like a like a stick in the middle of the neck or something <laughs> that you're trying to jump over. So a V-shaped neck or a D-shaped neck is a really weird pop profile. And I can't imagine, like there's going to be one old timer blues guy that say that's the best neck ever, but he's going to be like one guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it's a vintage thing. Uh, the C-shaped profile is pretty hard to beat. The U-shaped profiles are pretty hard to beat. For people that do more chords, they're probably going to like the C shape. It's probably the best all around. For the guys that just shred, that's all they shred. They probably like the flatter U shape, which uh, my H string right behind me here. Uh, that's a U shape neck, and uh, it's a satin finish, but it's nowhere near polished to these. So it's probably close to that. But uh, it's a smooth neck, but it's not as smooth as these. These are this is a league on like these Holcomb guitars are, wow, <laughs> you know. Uh, well done, PRS. Well done, Mark Holcomb. I'm very impressed with these guitars. Uh, hope we'll see how they hold up. You know, over you know years. Like I mean, again, I bought this in 2009. 
And uh, the only downside to this guitar is that with the 61 reissues is that the bowl, the, uh, the, the, the set neck tends to bow if you don't adjust them right. And this one has a slight bow and it's past the, where the uh, truss rod will do the job. Uh, it's not enough that it makes it, you know, that you can't play it, but it, it could, you know, like you can't get the action as fine as you would like. That said, this guitar is still an awesome playing guitar, but yeah, the, the, the neck to beat for me was this guitar and it kind of still is. Uh, I kind of wonder what this guitar would be like if it was wet sanded like that, you know, like a, like, you know, like satin finish and wet sanded like that how incredible would that be like i mean it's already incredible like it's not too wide it's not too flat it's just flat enough uh it's you know it's a very fast neck um very tight you know like like, like again like, you know very precision anybody that's played sgs they know what i'm talking about like sgs play really well you know that's why this these guitars are still around uh, you'll get your Les Paul kind of guys that have never tried an SG. Like, oh, I don't like SGs because the, you know, the, and they go on a, a bunch of cliches and then they play it, they sell the Les Paul and they buy an SG, uh, or, or two of them. And it's like, wow, these things are just awesome. <laughs> you know? yeah. And they are, they are. Um, but yeah, you know, what makes a guitar easier to play? You know, like that, that, uh, rounded, uh, you know, the, the proper profile. I think that has a lot to do with it. Sure. But how smooth that profile is, I think, probably takes the cake. Uh, it's amazing, like, how much uh, a little bit goes a long way. Like, so it's just a little bit slippier, but that little bit slippier uh, is, is just like, there's nothing, like, even if you're, even if you had, like, you know, fly, you know, fly tape on your, <laughs> you'd still probably slip around on that neck really well. And uh, it'll spoil you. It really will if you get a neck like that. So when you're when you're looking at your your next guitar or whatever, or whatever guitar you have, uh, you know that's something. Playability is usually the number one thing I look at when it comes to a guitar because sound. Like I mean, any one of these guitars uh, sound incredible, right? Um, whether you prefer this type of sound or that type of sound, it's not the issue. They sound great for what they are. These are professional guitars. Uh, you know, it doesn't get any better than that. Uh, but when they play really well, you know, like you can have the best sounding guitar in the well in the world, but the better you play it, the better it sounds. So even a guitar that doesn't sound quite as well, if it's played better, you'll always say that guitar sounds amazing. But what you're really doing is complimenting the person playing. Uh, I've seen people play really cheap Epiphone guitars. I've had them, you know, quite a few Epiphones, whatever. I've had the G400 and uh, the 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 double neck and uh, a Les Paul and all that, and a lot of people, wow, those guitars sound great. And it's like, well, those guitars sound okay. It's the you know <laughs> what you're saying is I you know I'm playing in time and I'm doing okay. <laughs> you know you know what I mean? you're saying I'm playing well and thank you for the compliment type of thing, right? And that that that's the one thing that you look at is how well it plays. Uh, but a little goes a long way. So the neck profile gets you that far. But the smoothness of that neck profile gets you that far. And then the scale will get you that far. So it all adds up, right? So anyway, yeah, that's my take on everything. How am I doing for time? Uh, yeah. So anyway, I'll leave it at about that. So you guys tell me what you prefer. You know, what, you know, like, uh, I, I, I mean, ideally you want the best profile with the smoothest neck possible, <laughs> you know, is, is what I'm getting at. But uh, I would take a smoother neck over the profile probably... Uh, I think that makes more because like this neck profile is a C profile. It's thicker than that one, but this neck plays faster because of the smoothness. And, it, you know, this is closer to that profile. In fact, this one's probably a little bit thicker, but it, it's even faster than a Jack's neck just because it's so bloody smooth. This guitar is absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, there we go. So anyway, uh, tell me guys what you think, you know, uh, is it a good debate? Is it, uh, you know, you know, you know, is it worth trashing each other in the comments for you? Let me know. Anyway, next to that, uh, rate, subscribe, share, comment, like, be true to yourself, be true to others. Always, always do the right thing. Have yourselves a great day. Eh?